everybody welcome back to my channel so I'm actually about to head out but I figured I would record my little get ready with me this kind of glam pinky eye look that I did because I'm going to a ball and I'm wearing all black so I figured something popping on the eyes would be best ignore my dog on the background so if you want to see how I achieved this look and you want to continue to get ready with me then let's go Okay, I've already done my brows off camera and I have just put some eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. So I am going in with my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And the first color I am going to take is going to be Burnt Orange, which is, <laughs> never mind my nails, but Burnt Orange, which is that color over there. And I'm just going to put that all in my creasey area. So yeah, I don't really get enough pay off and like it's not as pigmented like the warmer tones on my skin tone anyway okay next I am going to take this red red ochre and I'm just pretty much going to use the same brush and then I'm doing the same thing I did before but I'm just not going as high up in my brow bone so I'm keeping this color a little bit lower red to use a brush that's just like this so it's a bit concentrated I don't know what this brush is called but like this and I'm taking this cypress umber which is a dark brown just to darken the out the outer corners of this look a little bit but at least this way I'm literally keeping it in the outer corner so just to add a bit of dimension to the look. Now my problem with these brushes is that they don't blend well at all. So I'm going back in with that red brush. I don't care that it has a little bit um, of that red on it, which is probably even a good thing. Just to blend it all out nice and cute. Okay, now that that is done, I want to use a lighter pink shade. But what I'm going to use is this NYX pigment. So it's a nice, let me just show you my, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just like a nice glossy pink. I really like it. So I'm going to take just a regular brush and take that pigment and what I'm gonna do is put the pigment on the inner corner of my eye so right there and a little bit over the outer corner of my eye and then the outer corner, I'm going to just blend that off a little bit because I don't want that to be as strong. I just didn't want it to be super matte. And I blend this pink pigment. Okay, so this is kind of what we have at the moment. Um, but I'm going for like a ball and I'm wearing all black. So I... Oh, dear. So I kind of want my makeup to be a bit sparkly with a glossy lip and everything. So what I'm going to do next is add a bit of glitter on the center of my eye. 
So I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer. So it's like a glitter glue that allows your, your the glitter on your eyelids to stay put kind of all, all day. So I'm just taking like a brush and having that glue come up like that onto my brush. And then I'm putting this literally in the center of my eye. Like right in the center. So what now happens with that? And then I'm gonna go back in with that other glitter brush I used earlier. And this NYX Glitter Brilliance in GLI08. It's this this color I also really like. I don't know if you guys can see it. Actually, you'll see it on my eyes. It's just a very nice um, neutral glitter color. So it's not really any color. If anything, I would say it was like a pewter kind of color. And I loved it, so. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need, a, this is actually my first time using the NYX glitters and I've had this for ages. But I feel like it's the kind of glitter that you need to put, you need to layer quite a bit of it on. Because it takes a while for the, the actual color to pick up. Okay, can you see that? That actually looks really good. That actually looks really good. But the thing with eyeshadow looks is that, first of all, I've never done this look before, and the thing with eyeshadow, oh dear, it's on my lashes, is that you never really know how it's gonna come out till you've done the rest of your face and you've done your lashes and everything, because with eyeshadow, I just find I can't tell if I'm gonna like it till I'm completely done, because sometimes I'm doing my makeup and I have no time to start over, and I'm like, oh, I hate this. And then by the time I'm done, I'm like, girl, yes. So now that I've added the glitter, I'm going to go back in with my Naked palette and I'm first of all going to go in the Burnt Orange, that, that base color we used the first time, and I'm just going to kind of blend everything out, cause I'm, and I'm using that color because I'm not really trying to add any other shades. I like the way everything kind of blends, you know. Okay, so I'm thinking... I've obviously done my winged eyeliner off camera um, and now I'm thinking should I wear these lashes, these Coco lashes in the Style Goddess. They use, they're a bit thicker than what I would usually go for but I'm thinking, you know, why not? Okay, so I've decided I'm actually just going to try them because I have them and this is the whole point of makeup, why not? So they're actually a bit thick at the band, which I don't know that I love, but let's see. Right, so I have done my lashes off camera, and can I just say that I cannot believe I have slept on these lashes for so long, because they are so mad. Like, they are so nice, and they literally pull this look together so well. I'm so impressed. Yay! Okay. Okay, to prime, I am going in with my Maybelline Baby Skin, which is really the only primer I use. I don't even use primer all the time. When I moisturize with oil, I find that my makeup just sits fine anyway. And I only really apply primer to like these areas. My nose, forehead, my cheeks, really, and then my chin. So I don't like lather it everywhere like I do like a lotion or something. Um, next up we have foundation and I am using my NARS Medium Dark in Syracuse. Um, I really want to try a new foundation but I went to 
Sephora a couple of months ago and I was like, oh, you know, I want to try a new foundation. What is out that you would recommend? And I told them things I already had a couple of bottles of this stocked up. So sorry if you can hear my dog's footsteps. Um, I had a couple of bottles of this stocked up, so I... I mean, I wasn't really in the mood to buy foundation, but I was getting bored of this, um, this foundation. And it wasn't working very well for me. Um, I just found the consistency not that great. So the lady was like, oh, it's the kind of foundation that you have to apply with a beauty blender. Even though this isn't like an original beauty blender, but I prefer it. Um, with a beauty blender or with your fingers. And so now... I actually use my fingers majority of the time, but for today, use the beauty blender. And for a concealer, I'm conceal. See, this is my last tube. Um, my new one is coming tomorrow, actually. But at the moment, I am scraping and hustling. But this is also Nara's Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. This is how you know your concealer is done in ginger and what i like to do is put more of the concealer where my dark circles are like in the inner corner yeah this is probably the last wear i'm gonna get out of this tube okay Um, I like to let that sit for a little while, especially when I use less, less, because then it dries in place and I don't have to blend it out quite as much, but this makeup is looking so cute today. I'm so glad it came out well, because I'm rushing, actually. Okay, so I then blend this out. So do you guys actually want to see more hair videos or more makeup videos, more tutorials or more reviews? Like what actually, what kind of content do you guys actually even like? This YouTube thing is so weird. Like as much as I enjoy it, like I swear to God, I enjoy it so much because I've always just loved sitting and playing in makeup and doing my hair and all that stuff but when you have school or you have another job or you have like something else that takes up your time i swear to god it's so difficult because it's one thing to film it's another thing to like edit and all that stuff and it's so time consuming like so so time consuming um okay contour Speaking of contour, um, what do you guys think of those, of Kim's contour kits? See, for me, I, huh, I don't know. I, I really supported Kylie Cosmetics. I think it was such a good business idea. I think she knew the influence and the power that she had over the beauty industry or in the beauty industry and like over people who wear makeup and like who she is. And so I think it was very clever of her to go into it. And I don't actually think the products are half bad. To be honest, I'm probably going to use one of them, one of her stuff today. Um, I don't think it's half bad, to be honest. And the Vacation Collection looks really, really, really good. And I've watched like a few... Oh, my lips are dry. I've watched a few reviews and they seem to be positive uh, apart from the people who blatantly say that they just don't want to spend their money on anything Kardashian which I guess is up to them that's cool but I haven't really heard anything bad about the actual product unless people are saying like, yeah the math's too drying or stuff like that which is cool but anyway as I was saying the focus was Kim Kardashian's contour thing what do you guys think I really actually want to try it and luckily for me, I feel like she may have considered my skin tone, but I don't think she really considered like all the other skin tones out there, which is a bit like this damn dog, which is a little bit upsetting because I feel like for somebody who is around black culture so much, 
you know, she should be very mindful. I was saying, yeah, the Maybe Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick and coconut as a contour stick. And I am now setting my lighter areas, so my concealer areas, with the beloved Laura Mercier. Um, but yeah, so I feel like she didn't really account for darker skin tones, and that's something I would have expected her to do. Plus all that shade with um, Jackie Aina, that was a bit much. But then again, I don't know. I don't feel like she she's always the one that posts her Instagrams anyway, so... She may not even have any idea all of this is going on. <laughs> um, yeah. But that's just me. You guys, one thing I really wish I could do that would work with my face was bake my under eyes. Like, every time I try to bake, I find that I just look <laughs> so freaking, like, my eyes just look so pulled. That makes sense. Like they just look so porcelain underneath. Like un the skin just looks. I don't know how to explain it. So it's one beauty trend that I just can't. You know. Should I do a video like that actually? Beauty trends that I just don't follow or don't subscribe to. Not because I don't like them, but just because I can't. Um, and then I am gonna set my contour. With this, I actually. This I actually got as a gift from Sephora. You know when they do those, like, you've reached 500 points or whatever, so here's a gift, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I didn't have anything else to pick, and I just usually, I never pick gifts, and I was like, I have so many points, I might as well try and use them. And I was thinking of getting a new bronzer, and I was like, well, the sample bronzers, they always put out a never my color, like, they're always too light. But I was like, you know what, this is Too Faced, and it smells like chocolate, and I was like, it could just be something to have in your makeup bag. And then one day I tried it and I have never looked back. And it's funny because I then went into the store and I and I was gonna buy the full size one. And this is medium dark and there's one, I think there's one shade lighter and there's one shade darker than this. So I was speaking to the lady and I was like, which shade would you recommend? And she was like, oh, definitely the shade darker than this. And I was looking at her like, sis, nah. So I was happy that I had tried it on my own, which is something that I always say to people buying makeup, don't just listen to the sales lady because first off, they're just trying to make a sale. Secondly, they don't really have the time all the time to, you know, they just want you to buy something. So it's not always the best plan of action, if you know what I mean. Okay, so my face is now set. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Just a wee bit. You know, nose contouring is something that I haven't quite figured out and I haven't decided if it's really for me or not because my nose is kind of funny shaped. It's, I don't really have I would want it to go like this rather than like this and there isn't really anything that I can do to achieve that result which is quite annoying um, I am going over hmm now what kind of cheek should I go for should I do something more bronzy this is why I love this foundation it just picks up light should I do something a little bronzy or I'm asking you guys like you're going to be able to answer me in time. Um, something bronzy or something a little bit more goldy. This is always the stage of my makeup that I can't decide. Um, I think I'll do a bit of bronze. So I'm going to go with the Becca. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. I'm going to take a brush and... Just add some warmth to my cheeks over her. But I'm still gonna put that gold because <laughs> I really like it. So I'm still gonna put a little bit of gold on my cheek because whenever I wear this, I really like how it catches the light. And I remember the first time I actually wore any of the shades from this glow kit. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. And as much as I don't like that the highlight kind of sits on your skin, it doesn't give you that 
glow from within kind of glow. My boyfriend was like, you're glowing. No, he actually said, he's like, you're glowing. Oh, I was like, well, thank you. <laughs> so I knew that like, it must have something. So to, for my last cheekbone highlight, like literally on this spot, it's this eyeshadow I swear I bought ages ago from Kiko, but it works so well as a highlighter. I've never found anything I like as a highlighter as much as this. It's Kiko eyeshadow in the, oh, the colors. Oh, um, Ombretto, that's it. Okay, now, so for under my eyes, I can't decide if I should go with an eyeliner look, or even though I've recently decided I don't like that either. It's another trend I don't like. It just makes my eyes look kind of funny. I prefer to, I prefer these days to use an eyeshadow as an eyeliner. It just looks so much nicer. Amuna V, so you know, you don't have to subscribe to that school of thought, but for me anyway. So what I'm going to do is take this red ochre again and just go underneath my eye. I'm using a very thin brush, like a very small thin brush. So just smudge this out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back with that Cypress Umber, which is like a dark brown shade, just in the outer corners to just give it, like, you know, a bit of depth. Don't need it the whole way of my eye. Okay, and to tie this in, my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on my lower lash, my lower lash line. I hate these ugly mascara faces. And last, but definitely not least, I'm just gonna go back in that Kiko eyeshadow highlight and just give the inner corners of my eye a little bit of love. Oh, I hate when I have like little stuff in there. Okay. This is so cute. Now, the lips. What am I going to do on the lips? Okay, so for lips, to be honest, I don't know where all my lipsticks have gone. It's a bit sus. But that's for another day because, like I said, man's is late. So, obviously, lip gloss, lip balm. This is a Nigerian brand, actually. It's Shea Origin. And then... <coughs> Ugh. Where's my mirror? Yeah. So then, some trusty lip liner. This is Mac Studio in Exp Espresso. And this is just to give my lips a bit of shape. And then I'm gonna go in with Coffee Craze. This is my favorite nude ever. It literally doesn't look like anything, but I just use it to blend in my, just use it to blend in my, um, what you might call it, lip liner. And it has a nice glossy finish to it, like a satin, velvety, moisturizing finish. And I know I said I want to use a Kylie Cosmetics product today, so this isn't Kylie Cosmetics, this is just my, this cheap gloss I bought when I was in London that just adds a bit of pop to my lip colors all the time and has ended up becoming a damn staple 
It's from, oh, everything's even, it's LA Colors, I know that, and it's in the color Snuggle. So this is the Kylie Cosmetics product I'm going to use today, and it is, Lord, her, her Metal Matte Lipstick. So I have a gloss of this, I don't know where it is, which is actually ideally what I'd have rather used. But I'm just going to add this bit of gold right in the center. Because, you know, I said I wanted this look to be very shiny and glam because my outfit's all black. So, this is the final look, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching my get ready with me and you've enjoyed getting ready with me. And you like this look. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe, come back for more videos. Bye. Yes, I may believe Baby, I know, baby, I know